Did you find what you came for? There was something from your past here, something unresolved. I feel we did not come to this place by chance. You were led here. This woman who resides here, she did something to you once, something that hangs upon you still. There is a Jedi here, perhaps, in that you are correct. Yet there are no students, and this woman, this Atris, surrounds herself with those who cannot feel the Force. Curious. Yes, her servants are not Jedi. Their minds are walls trained to resist tricks of the mind. This discipline blinds them to the Force as well, even if they were Force-sensitive. Plans are fragile things, and life often dashes expectations to the ground. Perhaps students will come to her in time. For now, she is surrounded by those who cannot feel the Force. No, her servants are not Jedi. Their minds are walls, trained to resist tricks of the mind. This discipline blinds them. Invade the mind of another? It is not something done carelessly, or when there is nothing to be gained. Very well, let us depart. <sighs> He's only sleeping. It seems the journey here has fatigued him. I'm sorry, General. I must have lost consciousness in the crash. I'm fine, General. Even power has been restored to my arm. What is this place? Where are we? This must be where I had detected the energy readings before, and the drain to the restoration shields. This room, this place, it looks part of a huge polar irrigation system, possibly planet-wide, like the one on Coruscant. I had been told by the Republic that it was not in use. I am, General. If you wish, I may travel with you. I'll join you at the ship. Very well, General. Before we begin, are you familiar with the Chani traditions? All duels between us shall be without armor of any kind. There shall be no restrictions upon our movements or upon yours. Your feet are not to leave the training mat during the battle. If they do, you will lose. Also, this is not a fight to the death. Restrain your instincts when we fight, and we shall do the same. The fight will be with hands and feet only. No stimulants, shields, weapons, or other items. Also, do not call upon any Jedi techniques during our contest. If you do, then the battle will be over. In turn, I will not use our higher forms, for this is only an opening battle between us, a test of each other's strength. Then let us begin. This will teach you.
You have succeeded. If you wish, you may challenge us again. Very well. I shall honor your request. Our next battle will be using the higher forms among the Ichani. You may choose hands and feet, or whatever melee weapon you wish, but use no other items or Jedi techniques. Then let us begin. Succeeded. If you wish, you may challenge us again, and we will progress to more advanced movements. Very well. I shall honor your request. Our next battle shall be free of restriction on weapons and items, and you may use whatever technique, Jedi or otherwise, you wish to attempt to defeat me. In turn, I will spare none of our forms against you. Then let us begin. of melee combat. You surprise me. There is nothing more that we can teach you from such contests. Such battle would only be for battle's sake. If that is what you wish, then we shall honor it. We shall see how you fight against a group of us. We shall take you in a pair, using everything at our disposal. Use whatever item, weapon, or Jedi technique you wish. We shall match it. about you. You know much of war and battle. Perhaps too much. I admit nothing. The Ichani stand together. To defeat one or two of us says nothing of how a true battle would go. Then our last battle shall be the five of us against you. Use any item, any weapon, any technique you wish. You will need them. Yeah!
There shall be no more matches, no more challenges. There is much we have learned from you. If we meet on the field of battle, we shall be prepared. <laughs> <laughs>